Cinderella loves gardening. Once upon a time, in a quaint little village nestled between rolling hills and lush meadows, there lived a kind-hearted girl named Cinderella. She was not just any ordinary girl. She possessed a deep love for gardening. Cinderella's days were spent tending to the flowers, nurturing the plants, and whispering sweet melodies to the trees. Her love for gardening was as vast as the sky and as deep as the roots of the tallest oak. But alas, Cinderella's days were not all sunshine and roses. She lived with her stepmother and stepsisters, who cared little for the beauty of nature and much for their own vanity. They spent their days primping and preening, leaving Cinderella to tend to the chores around the house and the garden. Despite the hardships, Cinderella found solace in her garden. Among the blooms and butterflies, she felt free, her spirit soaring like a bird in flight. She dreamed of a world where kindness and love bloomed like flowers in spring, where everyone embraced the beauty of nature with open arms. One day, an invitation arrived at their doorstep. The royal palace was hosting a grand ball, and every maiden in the kingdom was invited. Cinderella's stepsisters squealed with delight, imagining themselves dancing with princes and wearing gowns of silk and satin. But Cinderella's heart skipped a beat for a different reason. She longed to see the palace gardens, rumored to be the most magnificent in all the land. As the day of the ball drew near, Cinderella's stepsisters busied themselves with dresses and jewels, leaving her to tend to their every whim. But Cinderella's heart was elsewhere. She spent her days preparing her garden for her absence, whispering secrets to the flowers and promising to return soon. On the night of the ball, Cinderella's stepsisters swept off in a flurry of excitement, leaving her alone in the empty house. But instead of feeling sorry for herself, Cinderella slipped into her gardening clothes and tiptoed out into the moonlit garden. The stars twinkled overhead, and a gentle breeze carried the scent of jasmine roses. As Cinderella danced among the flowers, her heart felt light and free. She twirled and spun, her laughter echoing through the night like the song of a nightingale. And as she danced, something magical happened. The flowers seemed to sway in time with her movements, their petals shimmering with an otherworldly glow. Unbeknownst to Cinderella, the palace gardener had been watching from afar. He had heard tales of a mysterious girl who tended to her garden with love and devotion. Intrigued by her spirit, he had followed her to the ball, where he watched in awe as she danced under the stars. But as the clock struck midnight, reality came crashing down like a thunderbolt. Cinderella's garden magic faded, and she found herself standing alone in the moonlit garden once more. With a heavy heart, she trudged back to the house, her dreams of the palace gardens fading like the morning mist. Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. But Cinderella's love for gardening never waned. She tended to her garden with even more care and dedication, her heart overflowing with hope and imagination. And then one day, a knock sounded at the door. To Cinderella's surprise, it was the palace gardener, his eyes twinkling with mischief and magic. He had come to invite her to the palace, not as a guest, but as a friend and fellow gardener. And so, Cinderella's dream came true in the most unexpected way. She spent her days wandering the palace gardens, her laughter mingling with the songs of birds and the rustle of leaves. But Cinderella's greatest joy was knowing that she had found her true calling. In a world where beauty and love seemed scarce, she had discovered that the greatest magic of all lay within her own heart. And as she tended to her garden, she knew that she would always be surrounded by beauty, no matter where life took her. So, dear children, remember the tale of Cinderella and her love for gardening. Let it be a reminder that true beauty lies not in gowns of silk and satin, but in the love and kindness we share with the world. And never forget that no dream is too big, no imagination too wild, for with a little bit of magic and a whole lot of love, anything is possible.
Thank you for embarking on this whimsical journey with Cinderella and her love for gardening. We're thrilled that you found joy in her tale of kindness, perseverance, and the enchanting magic of nature. As we bid farewell, we encourage you to carry the spirit of Cinderella's garden wherever you go. Share the beauty of her story with those around you, spreading seeds of love and imagination. As the stars twinkle above, may your dreams be filled with the fragrance of blooming flowers and the melody of dancing leaves. May you wake each morning with a heart full of hope and a mind ripe with possibility. Until we meet again for more storytelling adventures, May your nights be filled with sweet dreams and your days with the wonder of the world around you. Sleep tight, dear friend, and let your imagination continue to bloom like Cinderella's cherished garden. Good night.